Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about some big changes coming with Brimstone Sands and the current changes that are in the PTR going to live. So right now we have some big things that everybody needs to know. I didn't see enough traction, uh, I believe, who posted this. This was Single Impression 20 on Reddit. They posted some great stuff, and then we also got Zeg Geger, I'm not sure. There's the Reddit user there, though, that posted the charts for Umbral Shard changes on the PTR. These didn't get enough, in my opinion, they didn't get enough traction. I want to talk a little bit about what they have posted here and what it really means for all of us New World players that have tons of Umbral Shards saved up or don't have many Umbral Shards saved up and you want to use them the most efficient way. So PSA, you need 98% of the Shards in PTR versus Live. So you're going to be able to save about 2% if you wait right now with a, let's say, 590 piece or 600 piece. You wait now until live, you're going to be able to save about 2%. So that's something that you guys will all together kind of gain on. But when it comes to the really new update, they're doing a more gradual increase on the amount of umbral shards you need in PTR. You can see here with the chart, you're going to lose a ton of umbral shards from that 600 to 615 that you never really lost before. So the big thing here is in live right now, if you spend Umbral Shards on a piece of gear from 600 to about 615 or 600 to about 620, you're not losing that much. However, if you spend a piece of gear on PTR from 600 to 615 or 600 to 620, it's going to cost you quite a bit of shards to get that upgrade. So what I want you guys to do is with your favorite pieces of gear right now, they all need to be up to about 615 at the very least. And then if you want, you can take full advantage and get up to about 620. This will give you a huge discount and opportunity that you will not have after the PTR's update goes live. So you can see here this chart, and it makes a lot of sense for most of us. They're basically making it so 622, 623 to 625 doesn't cost an insane amount of shards. But while they do that, they are making every you know increase up until that 625 cost much more so the play for me and many of you is to find a piece of gear right so if it's a 590 to 600 upgrade that you're looking to do you might as well wait for the ptr you're gonna have so many less shards to get to that 600 but the one thing is if you're looking to take your piece of gear from 600 to about 615 or 620 you're gonna want to do that now because with live you're gonna save so many umbral shards and then if you're looking for an upgrade from about 615 to 620 uh, all the way up to 625 definitely do it after the PTR update comes because you're going to save so many shards in the meantime just by waiting from you know 620 to 625 upgrades. So definitely keep an eye on this chart. Understand it. Make sure you take full advantage of it. I want you guys to save shards. I know it's a little bit easier now in New World to get those shards, but at the same time, it's nice to have a nice stack of them instead of continually burning through them. So this is a nice chart to look at for sure. And if you want to take a little bit look farther into it, I believe it was by single dash impression dash 20 uh, the reddit user on uh on well reddit new world game subreddit so very very cool i want to talk about this chart as well before we go into some of the big stuff with the closer look on umbral shard changes on the ptr with dungeons and expeditions the big thing we want to take a look at here is the umbral buying ptr versus live so a lot of people are buying umbral shards or six thousand umbral shards for what 15k that seems to be the ongoing price so the blue is the live, red is the PTR, and the yellow is actually the umbral shards buying. So 6K for 15K, that's usually what you get. 6K umbral shards for 15K gold. I personally have never bought them myself, but it's not against TOS or anything, so you definitely can do it. Uh, but the cool thing about this is it just shows exactly how much shards you're going to spend on the live versus the PTR. So live right now, you're going to spend pretty much nothing until about 620. You can spend 2,500 shards to get a piece of gear or a weapon to 620. That's very, very cheap because when it comes to the PTR, it's going to cost you about 7,000 umbral shards, which is a huge, huge increase. You can see that the increases are much, much lower from 620 to 625. So that's kind of the big thing I wanted to get across today. But I also want to take a look at some of the changes coming to Expeditions. So here we have a closer look at the umbral shard changes on the PTR. And like I said, the Reddit user here is Zegerger. Uh, he looks like he posted this 14 days ago, and it only had 79 upvotes. I couldn't believe that. I wanted people to understand the changes that are coming so you understand the importance of where to use your Umbral Shards and how much Umbral Shards you're going to be getting with the new updates. So the first chart, it's going to show you guys Mutator 1, Mutator 2, Mutator 3, all the way to 10, right? So the old bronze for Mutator, let's say, 4, was 80. 80 is terrible for doing a full expedition in a Mutated 4, which is actually somewhat difficult. That's crazy low. 
and then you see with a gold, you're getting 120. That's just really, really miserable, terrible. Um, so it's a great update that they're going to be showing you guys now. With the new bronze in M4, you're going to be getting about 800. In the new gold, you're going to be getting about 1,400 umbral shards. We also can see with the M10, it's the exact same. So you're going to be able to get that 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 still at the exact top, but they're trying to make these much more gradual. And you saw that with the charts as well. These are much more gradual inclines that make more sense. But uh, realistically, we got kind of in love with the umbral shards getting from 600 to 620 very, very easily, and then just not worrying about that 625 most of the time when it comes to certain pieces of gear. Here we have the update, though, when it comes to expeditions being much, much better. So we can also see some of the charting when it comes to from and to. So you can see the old versus the new when it comes to umbral shards and the cost. So looking at this chart, you actually have to spend 7,000 umbral shards on the PTR changes to get a gear score of 620 versus 620 gear score on the old is 2,364 umbral shards. So you're almost saving 5,000 umbral shards on the way from 600 to 620. From 600 to 601, it's 45 umbral shards. From 600 to 608, it's 39 umbral shards total. That's just a crazy, crazy difference. Like I said, you guys understand exactly what you should be doing if you have pieces of gear at 600. Get it to that 615, 620, and then save for the brimstones launch and get it from 620 to 625 that's the main thing i want to get across right now but i want to talk a little bit more about this expedition update because this is huge and this is actually one of the better parts of the update i really don't care about the other stuff i don't think it's as important i just want you guys to know about it i don't really care if it's gradual or as long as it's basically you know that same amount of umbral shards total it's not a huge deal to me but i just want to take full advantage and i want you guys to be able to take full advantage as well but the big thing i want to mention today is this expeditions and kind of the differences that you're going to be seeing in these like m7s and m8s that you didn't see before so with an old m8 you would actually really never have a reason to do this you'd always want to push for an m9 at the very least or an m10 even but m8 would give you about 1333 in the old bronze and 2000 in the old gold now we have new bronze at 2600 so basically a double in the old bronze and then when it's gold you're going to basically double again at 3800 instead of 2000 that's a huge huge difference it's making all of these mutators much more viable instead of just having m10 as really the best and only viable option so now as you're kind of advancing and getting closer to m10 you're still going to be gaining good rewards and that's something i love to see as well a great update by new world a great update by ags i like this one much more than i like the gear score update to be honest just because the umbral shards i was starting to get used to it i really did like you know having that very very easy way to get all of my gear pieces up to about 615 620 and spend such low amounts of shards but thank you guys again for tuning in if you have any questions Questions, comments let me know down in the comments of this video I'm gonna to try to answer them all this is a very very big update that people need to know about and I just kind of realized not many videos on it not many uh, you know people talking about it so here it is hopefully you guys take full advantage before that live update comes or that PTR update comes I should say thank you guys again like I said I'll see you all in the next one make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on peace